Welcome back guys to the Spurgeon Piper. This is Wilson with you. This week we have another tobacco review and it's a review of a blend that's gonna be released at the making of this video or the day of this video, which is February 13th, 2024. And the blend is Sutliff's new release of Pipe Force episode one. Now, if, if you're not familiar with this uh, series, this is a, uh, a you know a space theme series um, with uh, unique blend components um, that have marked it. And so um, I, I'll tell you up front, I have not tried any of the other blends of this release, uh, but this one specifically has things like Stoved Rustica and uh, a newer uh, Oriental that Sutliff's so been using, Caterini. And so it, it, they're quite unique in that regard. So we're gonna jump into it. Uh, as always, I'm gonna give you a background of the blend and its description. Um, I'll give you a look at it and then we'll light it up, talk about it. And if I have any comparisons, I'll certainly throw them in there as well. So let's start with the description of the blend and I get this off of tobaccopipes.com. <clears throat> It says that it's a Latakia forward English mixture, offers plenty of smoky flavor from the fire cured leaf, which is artfully harmonized with floral, earthly stoved rustica. A mixture of high grade Virginia's imparts a natural sweetness. Caterini, the sole oriental component, offers herb and spice notes, bringing complexity and nuance to the flavor profile. Stoved or Cavendish tobaccos are often thought of as the vehicle for top flavoring. Though this is certainly a fine attribute, the wonderful characteristics imparted from the stoving process can be easily overlooked. Pipe Force illustrates just that with the stoving of two varieties for the first time, Rustica and Caterini. So uh, again, this is a Sutliff branded uh, Sutliff blend. It, the model is type Pipe Force Major Omera. Tobacco type, it is Rustica, Caterini, Latakia, Virginia. It is a plug cut or a crumble cake, I would probably say. Uh, an English blend. Strength is four out of five. Taste is full. Room note is strong. No flavoring. 1.7 ounce tins available in the United States. Uh, you will be able to find this today after 6 p.m. Eastern time, 5 central. Uh, you will be able to find it for $14.49 at tobaccopipes.com. I believe also Country Squire is holding or carrying this. Don't quote me on that. I think they might be releasing it. So if you want to look at other options, Country Squire is certainly one of them. And I'm sure there's a brick and mortar stores out there that are certainly carrying it as well. So just check those areas. Unfortunately, again, I think for those of you outside of the States, you won't be able to uh, get this blend. But for us in the States, it should be readily available. And some of the earlier blends, the previous releases are available as well that you can find on tobaccopipes.com. So with the background, let's go ahead and move on to a look at the blend. Here we are with Pipe Force One. Um, and as you can see, it's it's a bit of shambles in the tin because I've been smoking uh, a good bit of it. Um, but here you are, the, the, you know, I mentioned in the description, it says it's a it's a cut or a uh, plug cut on tobaccopipes.com. I mean, this is a crumble cake uh, according to my definition. So maybe I'm just off on my definitions, but I'm gonna call this a crumble cake because it really does crumble. It's just ribbon cut packed together in cakes. Crumble cake, but anyway, that doesn't really matter. Um, aroma, it smells like a heavy English blend. Like that's what you're mostly gonna get. Yeah, uh, you might smell some of the Rustica in there, which is gives you more of a woody campfire barbecue smell. Um, you can see a bit of the uh, distinctions of the leaf. Uh, you know, some bright, bright Virginia. Uh, not much of it, but you can tell. It stands out against the darker leaves in there from the Rustica, the stove Rustica, the brown uh, Orientals, Latakia in there. So. Uh, moisture wise probably needs to be aired out a bit, but frankly, I haven't done it once. I, I've been packing in my pipe. You'll probably see me light my pipe more than I need to in the video, but, uh, so it, it may be on the wetter side, but I don't really care. I'm going to light it up. It's pretty easy to smoke. All right. So with the look of the blend, we'll go ahead and light it up. Um, I do have it loaded up in a pipe here and I'm about halfway through the bowl. So I'll go ahead and re light it and um, we'll, we'll get into it. So this begins like a heavy English blend. Uh, and as it says, it's a, it's a Latakia forward blend. So uh, it's, it's smoky. It's smoky, it's tar-like. 
Uh, that's something you'll you'll notice in heavy English blends, especially I notice this in GLP's blends. I've, I've noted that before, not sure what that is. Uh, I find it less in other uh, English blends, but but certainly that's there in, in this one. Uh, musty, now, you know, the, the typical uh, characteristics of, of Latakia. And then we move on to the, the Oriental, uh, and the Caterini leaf and it really pops out in this blend as well. It's very floral uh, Very um, woody um, But one thing that's unique about Caterini so this this is something I loved of the 2023 uh, Sutliff's Kringle Flake they used the Caterini Oriental in that blend as well and, and one thing unique about Caterini it's an so uh, I guess you would say it's a newer blend that they're using or a leaf um, a, a source that they're using as of recent um, it has a creaminess to the blend uh, it, or a creaminess of, of the leaf that uh, that's unique for Orientals I, I have not seen that in other Oriental Cyprian uh, even Syrian Latakia that's uh, now uh, gone in our access unfortunately but uh, that, that's something you notice here is this is creaminess um, that I, um, I, I really enjoy that sticks out. So uh, the sweetness of the blend is, is minimal. Uh, this, this is not a heavy Virginia blend. Um, so if, uh, certainly don't go into this blend and think you're going to get something real sweet. But it is there. Uh, it's mostly the sweetness, I would say, is mostly from the Virginias, I presume. But they offer a bit of you know, tanginess, a citrusy, grassy notes. Uh, they're, they're there. They're certainly not a top player. Uh, but but you'll you'll find them in the background and so there is some sweetness that's offered um, in this blend there um, But then we get to rustica um, man. I I don't know how familiar you are with rustica how much you've had rustica uh, But but that's that's the interesting component for me in this blend. That I really enjoy um, I, I really enjoy rustica the little I have had it, but uh, It's similar to dark fired Kentucky if you never had rustica uh, which is, is unique itself. It's similar to Dark Fired Kentucky. That would be the closest similarity I, I would give. And, and it really stands out in a peatiness like you would find in an Eiley Scotch. All right, so if you if you enjoy scotch, especially Eiley scotches, you know they have that that peatiness that that makes them quite unique in that regard. I um, I find that there in uh, in in Rustica, uh, there's also this tanginess, this barbecue -y, uh, earthy, almost cigar-like notes to it. And again, this is where it gets similar to Dark Fire to Cut Kentucky, excuse me, because it has a lot of those notes as well. Um, but this is the first time I've had stoved Rustica, and I'll be honest, I, I don't know what that's bringing to the table. Um, maybe it's maybe it's a uh, it's, uh, it's it's softening the blend. Um, or maybe it is bringing out some certain, you know, flavors of the Rusca. But it has this, you bring them all together, it has this nice barbecue-y campfire uh, persona um, that I, I really enjoy. So I, I, I have not smoked a lot of heavy... English blends for quite some time. I just drifted out of them, but this is something that I'm really enjoying. I love the creaminess of the Orientals, uh, Caterini. I love the Rustica. Um, I'm a big fan of it. And it's just using enough, though this is a strong blend. It mentions that in the description. Uh, keep that in mind. You're probably not gonna smoke back-to-back -back blends I, or bowls. I might be able to get two bowls in back-to-back, -back, but I'm gonna feel it. Um, so it is on the stronger side. Be, be wary of that uh, or leery of that. Uh, but uh, but yeah, I I, um, I enjoy that aspect of it. Uh, the Resca does uh, seem to be more pronounced about halfway in the bowl forward, uh, maybe uh, maybe uh, a quarter of the way out. You know, after you get through a quarter of the way, you know, the last three quarters, or something like that. But overall, very consistent blend. Um, and by the way, Resca, if you're familiar, you're not familiar with Resca, you're interested. Uh, you know, Sutless has their H and H line, and they have Rustica here. I'm actually going to be reviewing this blend for my, the Patreon and YouTube channel membership subscribers. So just keep that in mind. And that's going to be coming in the next uh, week or two. Um, if you want to check that out, uh, feel free to um, uh, to jump on Patreon or the YouTube channel membership. So uh, back to this blend. Outside of that, uh, what what can I mention? Room note: acceptable, strong. Uh, 
Um, you're not going to make any fans of, of, of the blend or of uh, pipe tobacco if smoking all together. If you smoke this around them, I'm going to assume um, it is it is on the strong side. But if you like pipe smoking, I like it. I like the room note. I think most of us do. This is more for those outside of our uh, of our uh, of our realm. Um, and again, nicotine strong. Uh, so just be wary. It's not as strong as say like Resca itself, um, but it is it is on the stronger side. Rating, 8.5 out of 10. Uh, I really enjoy this blend. Uh, it's a solid, well-made, love the ingredients, uh, love the strength, I love the, the notes. Man, it's, it's, a, it's a winner for me. Um, if I had to give comparisons, this one's hard because it has Caterini, which is a unique Oriental, and then it has Rustica, which is unique. Um, but consider English blends that have a bit of Dark Fire Kentucky in them. Um, uh, you, you know, th this doesn't have Dark Fire Kentucky, so this circles around the pool of like a Quiet Nights for me. All right, I'm not saying that's a one-on-one -on -one comparison. Obviously that has Perique and it doesn't have Nick, uh, Rustica, doesn't have Katarina, it does have Cyprian Latic, uh, uh, or it does have uh, Oriental Leaf in there. But it's around that realm. Um, if you had English, heavy English blends, you're gonna get an idea of what this is. All right, and just you know, just throw in a bit of Dark Fire Kentucky in there, and you kind of, you know, you're you're in you're in the ballpark, if you will. So uh, that'll be a helpful comparison if if you think that's something uh, if this blend is for you. Well, guys, that's all I have. If you do get this blend, I want to encourage you to drop comments, uh, reviews below. I'd love to know uh, what you think of it. Uh, that's helpful for me. It's helpful for others as well. Right, that's all I have this week. Guys, I hope you're doing well, and I hope you're blessed, and we'll talk to you very soon.